your Coachella experience. I've been dying to find out. So you did end up staying in a tent. Yes. I ended up in a tent. I borrowed a tent from a friend, cruised down there. I got lost. It took me like 30 minutes to figure out how to even get into the festival. And they almost towed my car. I had like an overnight pass and I said, hey, where do I park? They go right here. Led me in. I went great. And I went in and when I came back out the next day, they were like, my car was the only car left in the oh. giant field, and they'd marked it for towing. And the guy came over. He's like, bro, we came so close to towing your car. And I Whoa. don't know what I would have done at that point. So wait, but, what happened? Did, so, did the, the guy who gave you instructions just screw you over? Yeah, they, I, I, I went to so many places. I'm like, where do I even go? What do I do? And they're like, go down there, turn left. I'd go there, I'd ask someone. They'd be like, go back, turn right. It, just over and over. It was just like... A mess. Isn't it just, I feel like this shit happens to me all the time, and I go back, and I'm like, how am I the only one that didn't understand what to do? Yeah, I, I'm like, everyone here, I must just be the big dumbass. I swear, I, I always feel that way, so, uh, brothers yeah. and You're not solidarity. Alone. So you So you drove, how'd you get down there? You drive? You drove yeah. your car? How long was the drive? Uh, it was like, close to three hours, maybe a little less. It wasn't too bad, but, um... Three hours? Was there lots of traffic? No, it wasn't too bad. I skipped the first day. I didn't go Friday. So I went early Saturday morning. I left at like 8 a.m. You left at 8 a.m. You got there. You parked. Now what? Now where do you go stay in a tent? Like that. This to me is interesting that there's there's like a lot of people that just staying in a tent there? Yeah, well there's the high rollers who sleep in their car. You gotta pay extra for that. You pay to sleep in your car? Yeah. It, more than to pitch a tent? Yeah, you can, uh, what? it's cheaper to pitch a tent. You can do car camping for like hundreds of dollars more. You're allowed to bring your car in and sleep in your car. If you're me, you get shoved off into the corner with all of the tent It's people. giving like fire festival. I don't know why. Just a bunch of people shoved in tents in the desert, super fucking hot. I heard there, there was a, uh, apparently there was a guy who was going around and uh, shitting in people's tents. Oh, he, oh, wow. I heard there was a tent shitter. Yeah, Coachella around. was a lot of fun this year, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's somebody unzipping the tent and laying a dump in there. Leaving little gifts. Holy sh crap, dude. Yeah. How many times can you shit? Like, That's I feel like you. Maybe it was more than one shitter. Yeah. Coordinated mm. shitting effort? A second shooter on the second, <laughs> second shooter shooter on, the on the hill on the field. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it might have been a group effort. The shitty knoll. Yeah, because well, using those porta potties is a risky zone. So I'd probably prefer taking a tent. So what? What's the you, so the lowest, uh, the most broke ass version of going to Coachella is pitching a tent, and yeah. then this the tier above that is sleeping in your car. Yeah, yeah, that's the bougie. They have their own area. I don't understand you why don't sleeping in the car is more expensive. Well, it's more real estate. I don't know. They okay. can really flex their car. Okay, so when you're in a tent, you really have just like one, like your tent area. Because yeah. I know when you go camping, there's like a lot of space. It's not like that. They also like try and psychologically fuck you with the tent because they put you, they put the tent people literally as far as they can possibly put the tent people to walk so it's almost like a like a mile holy to walk here i'm, pu I'm pulling up a picture because i want to know what this looks like so that's the car see yeah that's the car zone see, this doesn't look that is this what it was like yeah kind of like that but so, you can see where that ferris wheel is so yeah. you have to walk over there that's far um and I actually was even further away than this. And then, and then this is actually something. That's, yeah, that's like a different zone, and they pay like thousands and thousands of dollars. Dude, this is exactly Fire Festival. I guess they probably stole the, the business model from Coachella. So how much is this? Wow, there's bougie tents there. And then there's people sleeping on the street? You do what or you gotta there. do. Jesus, man, it's just, it seems miserable. Was it miserable out there in the tent world? It will. Yesterday it was like 90 degrees and you're just slow cooking in that tent. You're just on a you're just on a slow roast. And Gabe's advice was to not drink water. Did you follow his advice or uh no, I I I had some water, but I I actually I lowered my water consumption later in case I 
because I had to stay in one spot for the Frank Ocean thing. Okay, so it was some. It was some. It was some plan. Some value um, to his advice. Yeah, but it was so hot. It was pretty brutal. Wait, I'm genuinely curious about this now. I thought the bougie people stayed in hotels, but they're actually out there in tents. One of our friends uh, actually had like an Airbnb, and they got there at a pretty reasonable time, and all of the parking had been full, and they had to drive like far away and then catch a shuttle, and they had to do it at like one in the morning. It's a lot of people. It's a mess. Here, I'm curious about the cost of all this shit. Let's see. General admission. Okay, well they're not selling it. So week two is all that's left. So it's five fifty for the ticket. This allows entrance to the venue and day parking for three days. They also may visit the camping areas. So so this is so the camping is included in the ticket? No, you can go there. You can just go there? Yeah. You can go there, drop a big shit in my tent. <laughs> And then go why, back. Why is that a perk? They're like, yeah, you can go fuck with the tent losers. Yeah, you could go steal my <laughs> shit and, and just Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> why? What the hell? They may visit the tent area. That's so <laughs> funny to me. Oh, shit. Okay, so that's just that. And so general mission plus shuttle, so you don't have to walk like two miles, allows mm -hmm. entrance to the venue and any line shuttle pass. Woohoo. I feel like they should provide that for free. Just have a shuttle. 50 bucks? No, you got to flex. Okay, the VIP, now we're talking, allows access into the venue. Wait, what is that? No, that's, so the, go even lower, um, the camping tiers, I think. So there's car camping. There's my ass. Okay, our most popular option <laughs> for enjoying nonstop Coachella fun. So 150, I mean, that's not bad. Yeah. That's fair, I guess. You get it for three days, right? Uh, Yes. That's a great The thing price. is, people buy it all up instantly and then resell it for higher. Oh, my God. So Who I wants had to, to deal with this that. Coachella shit? <laughs> you know, that's the game. So people are trying to sell you a cool spot to sleep in your car for like $900. Yo. So there's like camping spots that are premium. Yeah. Closer to the venue, probably. Yeah, I I would have liked to sleep in my car, but that was, they were like $900 on stuff. But though. this is car camping. Yeah, no, the, the, that's what I'm saying. Those sold out, and then were being resold. Oh, okay, tent, tent camping. camping. It's the same price. Tent camping, preferred car camping uh, for $400. Arrive at your leisure and be guaranteed a spot in lot eight. Wow. Camping bundles. Now we're talking. Okay. So that's where the high rollers are. They get right. a big tent. This is, I'm interested in this now. Ready to go, wood lodge, lockable door. Hopefully no one has a pocket knife. Yo, can I lock this this uh, very thin canvas? Can I lock this fabric up? 3,000 bucks. You know what, I, I have to tell you, it's not that bad for being right there on Coachella. Like, I've hotels regularly, when there's events going on and shit, they'll charge you $1,000 a night, no problem, for a sh dog shit hotel room. So, it's less than 1,000 a night. Yeah, I mean, lockable door. Lock big, big, yeah, a big perk. Running water, yeah. not mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Kitchen. Three windows. Sheets. Three windows? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Lake El Dorado Lodge for two. Oh, there's only two people allowed in this. Is it per person or for the whole room? So if it's per person, then that's fucked. I'm guessing it's for the whole thing. It says two people. Right? Okay, yeah. 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 Lake El Dorado Lodge for four thousand. Now we're getting pricey. I don't know what's the difference here. It's a little, it's the same size, lockable doors. This is literally identical. Wood lodge, lockable door, two people. Identical text. Oh, because it comes with VIP passes. The other one is a normal pass. Okay. That's the only difference. All right. Okay. So let's just go to the big boys. 15,000. Safari residence. Residence sounds like I'm not leaving. I'm staying here. <laughs> Be among the first to stay in a safari rev residence, a new studio style accommodation type. On the beloved safari campground. I love the safari campground. I feel like it's not beloved. <laughs> I had my face pressed to the to the fencing looking in here. Right. Let me in. So how was it like sleeping? Did you get any sleep at all? No. Not a wink. Horrible. I slept on a pool floaty. <laughs> Wait. What? Wait, you didn't have a sleeping bag or a mattress or anything? I had a sleeping bag, but the thing is my tent, I borrowed it from a buddy very last minute and uh, it was too small to fit our air mattress so Sam went to the store and she bought an inflatable pool floaty 
I bought. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> so I was between that and a really big dog bed. The dog bed would have I been better, like, I think. Well, it was the dog bed was five feet long, but the pool float was six. I wanted oh. him to have some room to stretch. Yeah, my my bit. feet were only hanging <laughs> off like you know a little bit. Did the pool did the pool floaty keep inflated through the night? Kind of, but I got <laughs> to my tent at like one a.m. and I had I didn't bring a pump, so I had to blow it up by oh, with my mouth. Oh god! And so I almost awesome. passed out, but it was fine. And were you able to sleep though, or not at all, really? Uh, the first night I slept maybe like two hours. You just kind of laid there. I laid there and I listened. There was like a couple uh, in a tent next to me that were just. It sounded like some sort of. I don't know, uh, making out in a way that was horrible. I can't describe it. I don't were, know what okay. term I would Were they making use. love? Was there sex? No, I don't, I don't believe there was. It was very above board, but it was very just like... Loud. <laughs> slurping. Slurping are you, kiss. Are you kiss. sure it was a slurping kiss and not a uh, yeah. no, because sucking they kept, a phallic they object? They kept stopping and being like, what time do you want to head over there tomorrow? <laughs> and then it would go back. It was a pause and start BJ. Yeah, yeah. You know? um, Did you ever see them when you walked out? See who they were? Uh, no. No, I, I, you don't want to lock up, eyes Slurpee? with any, any of the tent crew. <laughs> Look a little relaxed there, huh? You give someone a bad look, they'll shit in your tent. You like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wondering it. how much shit does that guy have that shit inside of tents? I don't know. Would yeah. he just go back every time he had to go? Well, we discussed that. We think it's a roaming shit game. Right. I think it's more than, more than one. one. You yeah. think more, th but are they all together? Yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah. coordinated effort. Got it. Got it. What might have been worse is on the other side of me was there was like a British couple uh, in the tent and they were saying things like, "My fanny hurts." Oh, <laughs> God. I know Dan, that's his uh, nightmare. But uh, but that's your family. That's my gang. But yeah. when I was trying to sleep at three a.m., I was like, "You guys, got, you got to put your fanny down." <laughs> <laughs> well, you are in the beloved safari camping area, Ian. Uh, I don't yeah. know if you know how beloved. Beloved. It is. Yep. That's, that's crazy. You could just hear everything from your neighbors. Yeah, it was very uh, close quarters over there. So did you have to uh, use the bathroom, like a number two? Yeah. Oh, no. How'd you do that? It was horrible. You went in a tent. Oh, my God. You made <laughs> I, a number I two a, there? I took a video. <laughs> took a video? Not of, like, the shit exiting your butthole. No, but it was like... <laughs> It was like a shit sauna in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, tell me about the God. facility. Was it just an outhouse? Yeah, there were, I mean, porta potties everywhere, but it was awful. Like those industrial so blue ones? Yeah, yeah, oh. the classic. Dude, the festival porta potty is one of the most cursed things. Yeah. So you took a world. dump in there, bro? I was there for days. I tried to hold it. I guess it. that's the thing is like, normally those are just for like doing drugs in, but. <laughs> when you're there for three days. I don't know. Every time I go in there, there's a pile of shit that's almost reaching out of it. Right, which is why, like, <laughs> yeah. And and you don't so use it. a bunch of shit and toilet paper and piss and that blue. They put they put that blue shit in there like it's going to fucking help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So many things when I was growing up had scenes where someone was in a porta potty and it would be like pushed over no. that every time I'm in it, it's all I can think. I'm like, I have, first of all, I have to get out because it stinks and it's horrible. Scary. But like, I have to get out because someone is going to push it over and I'm going to be stuck in here forever. <laughs> they did, yeah, that's not a good thing. Covered thought. in like all the. Uh, so, Ian, did you sit directly <laughs> on the seat? I, I did the, and they also, like, it was the one ply, you know, the <gasps> base. Course. Wasn't that Kirkland two ply? Yeah, I I brought my own uh, two ply. Oh, and so, so you two plied the toilet seat. I folded it and then I I like layered it around. You put some effort seat. into it. Yeah, because they didn't have smart. the covers in there either. That's smart. Oh God, God forbid going in there unprepared, man. And then there's the little like piss hole, and there are all these like poppers in there, and it was it was just it was very fun. Poppers, you were like the like the little um what we saw Madonna do. Yeah, the little case things, right? Is that it, Dan, what I'm thinking of? Yeah. Or are you Cam. thinking of whippets? No, that's... Whippets. There's also that's a whippet. That's a whippet. Oh, whippets. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. were you... But there's containers for poppets, too. Something was going to crawl all up your ass. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> there, you, you got distance. So let me tell... Let me ask you this. Was it, qu was it kind of a quick shit, or was it one that took a minute? I was in and out. That's good. It was a speed run.
No, no splashing from the liquid. Because I would have, I would have passed out. Like it was so hot. Like I like sweat. Oh my god! I was like sitting in there. It's like, a shit steamer. Oh, yeah, god, it was awful. Awful, what, awful. What was the general weather like this weekend? Was it 100, like a hundred? Like it was like ninety degrees. Like ninety degrees, and that's even hot. at night. At night, uh, it was warm, but it it was it wasn't too bad. Oh, that's hot. It was probably nice at night. I and imagine. Was there any splashing, or did you? Because like when I use a toilet and I need to poo. I put down some toilet paper or something, or a co- seat cover, so it doesn't splash. Well, the porta potties is you got like a huge gap, okay, okay. So people can't <laughs> pile, you know, people Gross. pile that high, you know. It's okay. just enough. But was there a huge old pile of turds in there? We're 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 gonna we gotta we can move on from the shit. Just tell me one thing: how high was the pile of turds in it? I don't know, like six inches. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're at the Safari Dream uh, Utopia. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we camp there, and the first night you get there, you sleep, right? And then you go, or how did it work? I did, Well, I got there early in the morning. I tried to, I left early. I got there around like 2 o'clock. Wait, I wait, wait. set up my tent. 2 a.m.? No, 2, two in the oh, so, afternoon. So on Saturday, Saturday morning. you went, okay. Yeah. And then what time did the show start? I had to, f- I finished the tent, and I ran right over, because that's when Mark Rubier's set was starting. And so I got to see his set, and because uh, he got me to pass. Yeah. And he is the best dude ever. Him and his team are legends. They hooked it up so great. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's what I wanted to ask. How was the access, to, thanks to Mark Rubier's hookup? I, it, was, it was insane. It was so cool. I had this, like, special badge. This, I still have it on. And they had, like, this artist area. At, at every stage, and you scan it, and you can walk right up to the stage. It, it oh. was so crazy. So you had like full access? Yeah, him and and his uh, manager Matt, and so I I met up with them after his show, and we hung out for a bit. And Mark tried to get me <laughs> on stage for Kenny Beats. Oh, that would been sick. And what it, happened? We came so close, so we went over there. And him and his, we got in the artist area, and then we're literally going up the stairs to Kenny Beats' stage. He was performing, and he had all these people on stage. Yeah. And then right at the last minute, security guard was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. And he, he was Too like... Many people already. It was Mark, his manager, and his photographer, and I guess he was only allowed three. Oh. And so uh, they had to stop. Sorry, Ian. And then we got separated, and I didn't see Mark again. We tried to reconnect, but the service was so horrible. Right. But... No, it was awesome. Is the there food back there and stuff, or drinks? Or? Yeah, and there's like, you know, little things like popsicles and waters and stuff. But I saw like a bunch of um, celebrities and stuff walking Who'd you around see? there. You know what's so funny? I tried to go track him down and he disappeared into the mist of the evening. I saw Air Rack and I was going to go Wait. do a video. That's the guy who shit on me, who oh, said yes. I'm ugly. Oh, I'm being told that's exactly, that's exactly <laughs> That would have been so awesome. Sorry. I saw him and I tried going to the crowd to get over and then oh, he just disappeared in a, oh, in a mist. Oh, that thought you come in and... Thanks, I'm so sorry, Ethan. Yeah. That's the guy who said, uh, <laughs> I'm told... Uh, oh, I'm being told that's his, actual, that's his actual face. I'm so sorry, Ethan. What was the context again? Well, how did I even... They were talking about the stream. Dream. He's like, hmm, who's the one YouTuber everyone agrees is ugly? Right. <laughs> oh, that would have been so good. So, did you see any A-list celebrities? Not like F-tier, like A-rack. <laughs> um, yeah, I was, uh, I don't know, in the area I saw, like, um, Jaden Smith walked in for, like, five seconds. Yeah. And then he looked at the stage and he went, and then he left. Hmm. Um, what do you think I, he's, what, what do you think he saw there that he didn't like? Oh my God. Like, can we talk about, like, the political and economic They, they weren't the talking They weren't that. talking so about that. Rapid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. There was a couple other people. I saw like Emma Chamberlain and some other people were okay. there. Okay. Was- Did Emma have a huge uh, entourage? Uh, no. No, I, I didn't, I didn't see one. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was pretty, it was, it was cool. So a huge shout out and thank you to the great Mark Rubio. Yes. The go Friend That's of the cool. show. Actually, I think he just secured friend of the show status, uh, eternally. Yeah, for that hookup, and also the fact he played the main stage, which is so cool. Like, yeah, I I can't believe that 
Uh, I mean, like I'm so stoked for him. That's incredible. That yeah. I don't. I don't know if he's he's played there in the past, but he was like on the main fucking stage, yeah. which is so sick. We were watching his uh, set earlier, and he had like this whole like bedroom set up mm -hmm. and like this gr amazing uh, background with it, and he was just killing it. So good. He's awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's all the street. Full stream is on Coachella's. Uh, YouTube channel too. If you want to check that out, watch. If it you guys want to know how friendly the show is, if you go back and watch the episode with him, he came on and just started shitting on Kim Star. <laughs> I remember awesome. that. Yeah, you. It's almost like the Prince and the Popper in a way. You're you're a man living two lives. You're one on one hand, uh, walking shoulder to shoulder with Emma Chamberlain and Jaden Smith, and then on the other hand, you're shitting in a fucking covered in piss. <laughs> yeah, I mean, stinky yeah. <laughs> yeah. and dusty and dirty. Yeah. So what? So the video side of this, you filmed it by yourself. How did the video? That's the thing. Go? I couldn't bring the camera in. I I went down there with a nice camera and the microphone, and I couldn't bring it in. I don't know how I would have used it anyway. So I, did I you had to like self? So I was just wandering around like recording shit on my phone. I don't know if I can put something together with it, but I mean I'll try. Did you have to shoot yourself like this and just talk at the phone? I was just doing like selfie videos. Mm. I was just sitting there like my <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm sure we're going to we're going to make magic out of that. We'll, we'll see work. what I can yeah. do. If, if and uh problem. were you being recognized? Were was there family out there? Yeah, yeah. A lot of really nice um foot soldiers were were floating around and yeah. also people who were Asking about my shirt that I was wearing that was the whole thing. Which shirt? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, okay, so we got to talk about that. <laughs> okay, so Ian wore this shirt, and separately, it just became a story in the Gomez verse. Like, here is a Gomez head uh, who posted a picture of Ian. I, I don't know if she knows who you are. It seems like she doesn't, based on the comments. I no. know who this is. Now this the, the thing poster? is yeah who is who is she? I followed this this is my Selena fan page that I follow on Twitter I Yo. happened upon this post sent this it is to Sam how we found it right you were just like this is an authentic yeah and then someone sighting. posted on the Reddit later but this was just on my timeline so do you know who took this photo or what's the context here no I don't know and I I'm curious I don't think that this Selena account was the person who even took the photo. I don't even know how they found it, but they found me. Oh my goodness. It seems like the whoever took the photo was feeling it. Right. Yeah. yeah. It was probably a fan. It was it was wild that so many people were like commenting on this shirt. It sparked a conversation. All you, uh, people that didn't know who I was either. They were just like, oh my God, can I take a photo of that shirt? Did you make this shirt? Where did this shirt mm. come from? Yeah. You yeah. made this. Yeah, I oh, fuck. <laughs> I designed it. Did we fall? <laughs> I designed it like I don't know over a month ago, probably even before the PowerPoint, mainly uh -huh. just to like fuck with Olivia, because mm -hmm. um, yeah. I know it it was upsetting her. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, when I told her I was gonna wear this, she was like, "You need to burn that shirt." Oh, I sent it in in chat or text from when he sent me that he actually got the physical shirt i lost my damn mind here is ian sent this to uh my got my coachella drip did you really get that spreading the unity gospel you have to incinerate that you're embarrassing me <laughs> uh like a hippie protesting the vietnam war the 60s i am, no i am the hippie is basically the same thing you are the government true no i am the hippie no you are the mason girl who thinks manson. she's manson girl who thinks she's a hippie but really she's surrounded by evil ideology <laughs> Interesting de uh, com debate there. Interesting, and it debate. seems that, uh, of course, the Gomez heads tended to agree with Olivia. They thought, hasn't Go hasn't Selena been through enough? Yeah, she doesn't need to unify with Haley Bieber. Yeah. she's the aggressor. That's this how is, I feel. We cannot. There's no uniting. You know what I mean? Because it's like no. united, we didn't stand. United, right. one of us tried to pull the other one down. Right. That's how we were united. That's the way I saw it. Thank you, Ethan. I'm just, in Selena's own words, she called for peace. So I was mm. just going out there spreading yeah, but she didn't. the message. Mm. All yeah. quiet on the Western front. Mm -hmm. mm. I was calling for a ceasefire there. So did anyone get angry at you when they saw it? They'll like... <laughs> so no, but people were like, people were, uh, people would be like, nice. That's, oh, they, they'd be like, oh, that's, that's such a funny, that's funny, sure. And I'd be like, yeah, you know, just calling, I, I want, I, I want, uh, the troops to unify and say something <laughs> stupid like that and they'd be like yeah that that's that would be cool but like team selena 
That Love happened that. a lot. Ah, dude, Haley's like, done, like her reputation is cooked. When I said like, who likes her, bro? I mean, she's pretty famous. See, there are people who are Team Haley because they like Mean Girls. There are yeah, literally gross. people who say that. Well, you um, know. Oh, go ahead. Wait, was she? Oh, just that she is a Mean Girl. Yeah. Not that she was in Mean Girls. <laughs> right. She okay, was not in that I was film. confused for a second. No. Um, but people were really cooking Ethan. I mean, not Ethan. What did Ian. I do? Nah, not Ian. you. Don't worry. Not this time. Uh, people were cooking him in the comments. Uh, they were saying that Ian looked dirty. They could smell the no, photo. Yeah, he, yeah. And before she, the the girl turned off comments, I don't. I'm not positive why. But before she turned him off, I was able to get a comment in there. Let's see. This is embarrassing. They always doing something. See, it's you. You're always doing something. You can't compare Celine and Haley. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Imagine comparing Selena to Haley. Oh, Ian, you're busted. That's my sister, but she's still cooking. Yeah, that was me. Ian's ah. Ian is my sister. Oh, okay. I right. didn't understand. That. Yeah, Wait. no, Ian's my sister, but she's still she's still cooking. All the comments. Uh, I, when I looked, everyone was like, "Oh, he's dirty." Yeah, where are all? Yeah, those it looks comments? like she deleted them. She limited who could reply. I guess it was getting There's out. There's no hidden hand. replies, are there? I think I there are. I kept doing see more, like see more replies. Isn't that hidden? There was another Dude, one. No, no. Hidden well, is like a special. How do I click fit? on a special button? No, I looked this morning and none of the dirty tweets were under the photo anymore. So wasn't I there wondered a, if she, if someone deleted them. Wasn't there a second? Uh, oh, yeah, there, yeah, there was, was a Haley page account? that posted yeah. it too. Hold on, let me look that up. Uh, so were you getting shit anywhere else? Is there like a subreddit where they are dogging you? Not that I'm aware. I mean, I'm only even finding out this exists because this is what Olivia's timeline actually looks like. <laughs> right. So I don't. Maybe there are there are more little hold on caves and little holes. Here's another one. Question mark. Wow, they they really taking offense here. Question, question, question. Skull, skull, skull. This one is the snowy. No, no, no. So this is the this one we believe is from Haley Stan Twitter. Yes. So, Yo. Yeah. So, so you'll no see one that likes. this one is the. This one is the, the angle's replies. a little different, yeah. The replies are ruthless in this. In so, here, let's see. Haley and the caption is you mad. So, I guess, but dude, Haley's definitely paying like Russian agents to do psyops. Nobody likes mm -hmm. her. I didn't get paid. Who is that? They're trying to find out who you are, dude. Uh, I mean, at least he isn't a hater. It's a win win. Okay. Baby, I wasn't trying. <laughs> I appreciate the sentiment of the shirt. I do. I think it's funny. I don't, I don't see it being that serious. I think it's just a good. I think it's hilarious. I think it's. Ian annoying, just wants a ceasefire. It. You know, yeah. he just wants peace on earth. She was Haley was there, and I I wish I knew where because I would it would have yeah, been funny I bet to you do wish like. Where. Show. I don't think she would have liked it. She probably <laughs> wouldn't have. No, no. I, think I think she would have loved it. I think she would have not been. I don't think she wants to think about it. Mm. I think she would have posted a photo of it. Quite frankly. She would have posted a TikTok with Ian. She would be like, Think look, so? my bestie, my sister. No, it's good PR for her. You're right, yeah. Olivia. Yeah. So anyway, you went up there. You filmed. At the end of the day, what, what's the deal with these? Is, how long is the day there? It's like starts at noon and then goes till like 12 to 2 a.m. Holy fuck. Um, you just do the whole thing? Yeah, my legs, like the back, the back of my feet were bleeding all Holy day geez. from walking in my shoes. And my back was was shaped like like a like a roller coaster. It was so bad. 